I was just calling and let you know we're at the alligator swamp. Uh, I mean that food. Uh, with these alligators. Sawgrass Recreation Park. Uh, we over here with the alligators, so if we don't come back, we will take them. But sounds good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my husband wanted to get on this airboat with these alligators. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, but we're catching a small boat. Yeah. Uh huh. But the alligators is riding around here, girl. I can see them good. They dancing for them. Huh? Yeah. When is it? They're basically taking us over and dropping us off. When is it? We're not going to be staying on the cruise. Yeah. Oh. Where y'all from? Uh, we can go to where if you want to go. I don't know what time we'll be through with these alligators. temperature drops below 70 they start having trouble digesting food so they like they like warm weather they can survive cold weather just fine even severe cold weather but they shut their bodies down to do it and that's kind of the neat thing about a gator he can actually control his heart rate he can drop his heart rate down to just one to two beats a minute which is almost like a coma state 
So if it gets really cold, that's what he does. He just shuts down. He doesn't move. He doesn't eat. He'll lay there for weeks and weeks at a time if he has to and wait for it to warm back up. And if you notice, he's got some spikes all over his back, which are kind of neat. Those are called scoops. Back in the old times, they called them horns. They thought it was armor plating for the alligator. But as he started studying the alligator, he began to realize them spikes and bones are covered in blood vessels. So what happens when he lays down the sun, that sun heats up on his back, and heats up them bones, the bones heat up the blood, and then the blood comes to his body. So it's like having a solar panel laying across his back. Helps move that heat from his back to his entire body. This one's about 10 foot, which is bigger than average. The average size in Florida is only about six to eight foot, so ten foot's a good size gator. Um, good chance it's going to be a male alligator. The females don't get that big, so that's probably going to be a male alligator. I say always, probably. The only way to tell is the pro. What's that? Do they always get this close? No, not always. No, I've never seen. Them. He's just hungry. He's a good gator. It's almost like he wants the attention. Yeah. I was in. And these guys are nocturnal, but they don't ever get out. It's not like a, a deer or a raccoon that gets more active out the dark. Gators don't ever get active. They're really good at conserving energy. So once the sun sets, nothing changes. They just lay around and they wait. They're very patient. They have good eyesight, and being nocturnal, they have real good night vision. Like a cat, they see really good in the dark. They've also got little sensory glands along their body. And down their jaw, they can feel movement in the water. And just with the glands, they can tell how far the movement is and which direction it is. So at night, he'll just lay out here and he'll wait. Sooner or later, something out here is going to start moving around. And when it does, that gator sneaks right up on him, nice and slow. And that's what he's good at, is sneaking up on things. Once he gets within about 8 to 10 foot, that's his strike range. He's very fast in that 10 foot line. But it's mostly small prey. They go after frogs. Fish, birds, turtles, snakes, even insects, raccoons, possums, rats, anything, he can get down a couple of bites. So anything about the size of his head or smaller is what a gator goes after. So they're a little bit different than crocodile as far as that goes. They go after small prey. And they have a very so slow metabolism. Gators don't have to eat every day, every week, or even every month. They can go a long time in between meals and it not hurt them at all. So he don't have to worry about chasing the meal down every every night. He just lays around, and eventually he's going to grab something. And right now we're in our rainy season in the Everglades. During the uh, summer we get lots of rain. The water levels begin to raise up. That's what's happening now. It's about one or two foot right now. Uh, in the winter is just the opposite. In the winter time we get very little, if any, rain. The Everglades goes to a dry spell every year. Uh, by the end of winter, most of the Everglades is completely dried up, which is normal. Uh, then summer rolls around, we get that rain right back, and uh, everything gets back to normal. So right now we're in the rainy season. We have about 2.5 million acres of Everglades in South Florida. Uh, if you count what's left up in Central Florida, it's about 5 million acres total. And that's all protected. This used to stretch all the way up to the Orlando Disney area. This used to cover a big part of Florida before development. Uh, what's left is no more developing, no more uh, draining. The state of Florida has finally realized they need this. They can't survive without it. They're going back and they're fixing all the mistakes they've made and they're starting the restoration of it. The things are looking much better for the Everglades. Much, much better. Twenty years ago we were still losing this to development. So stopping that was a good step in the right direction. Now they're just going back and fixing it all. You guys have any questions at all? So they travel alone, they don't have pets. Very solitary. Big gators like this guy, the big male, do not get along with each other. Uh, they're very solitary, very territorial. So another alligator would have come in this area, this guy would immediately chase them out. It's illegal to feed them in Florida. They don't get along with each other at all. So is that noise a leveler or what? What? That noise that keeps going That's on. a bilge pump. Oh, so we don't sink. Well, I thought it was a lever, so we don't, so we so don't, we don't feed bowling. the gators. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to crank up. We're going to take off. We're going to go down this tree line here behind me. We'll see if we can find some birds setting up in the trees real quick.